hi guys in this video i will show you how to call and integrate google gemini api in laravel application so let's get started with an example so everyone aware about like google gemini ai api okay so we can call google ai integration okay so i already installed laravel application over here so let me go here you can see that and i have a login over here okay and then you can see here i have already opened my project in vs code editor okay so first of all what i will do i will add new menu over here that's called chat app and uh, you can like we can integrate over here and simple we will add text area and user can ask to the gmini api okay so let me go here and just let me clear this first clear okay and i will create new live wire component mac live wire and i will say chat app okay it's created and now let me go here and go to the routes and web here i'm going to create new route so get and chat app okay and then i will just call live wire class column column class and i will also give the name so that i can use it chat dot app save it okay and then let me go here to the resource view component layout and inside the sidebar i'm going to add new menu over here and icon i will be keep that and chat dot app and is route so i will just say chat dot app and then i am going to just say chat save it now let me go and refresh let me run php artisan sir okay refresh it you can see that there is a chat app if i click on it there is nothing okay so now i will add like text area where user can input the prompt okay and then you will receive the output from the google ai okay so let me go here and just add the setting heading first copy this go to the chat app copy this and just paste it and here i will say just gmini api example okay save it i will keep this small address so let me go here and refresh you can see there is gmini api okay like google ai okay maybe we can add it like this way google ai much more cleaner okay now what i will do i will create one form over here and let me create new div inside the div i will create the form okay remove the action and here i will use flux library because laravel 12 using the flux so let me go and flux e icon okay so maybe let me go here and go to the text area okay yeah let me go here and you can use this so let me copy this okay just paste it i'm not going to use the placeholder so let me remove this and here i will just say prompts okay and just go here and refresh you can see that there is a prompt let me also add the button so let me go to the again flux so i'll say button and they will already provide in free okay so let me go here i'm going to use this primary button so save it and let me make it in same line okay so much more clear okay yeah save it and here i will just say submit okay and then i will use the class okay and class will be empty for so some spacing okay and type i will be defined as a submit save it okay now let me go here and just refresh you can see that proper design over here now you can write any prompt like what is the capital of india what is the capital of us click on submit you will receive the answer from the google ai okay so let me go here and i will just define wire submit and submit when this form will submit then we will call the submit uh, method of the live wire class so let me go to the live wire chat okay here i am going to just say submit method and i will also define prompt variable over here prompt and that is the empty by default and then what i will do i will go to the chat and here i will just wire bind it 
okay just bind and just say like prompt okay save it okay and now let me go here and go to the chat tab and here i will just debug that okay please prompt save it okay and now let me go here and just submit it yeah it's null because uh, sorry wire not bind wire model so let me go and refresh it yeah you can see that i can get the value of the text area okay now what i need to do next i will add also validation so let me go and put this validate okay and just simple i will put for prompt and that will be a required okay save it okay next what i need to do you need to go to the google ai so you can see that ai studio i will put this link into the description and they already provided how to generate this key so you need to just generate this key okay after generate you need to copy this okay and go to your env and just paste it over here save it and here you need to add your key from here like i already generated key so i am going to put that okay so let me put it uh, right now okay okay i just uh, put it over there and let me go here and they given very simple example over here so what i will do just go here go to the chat app then i am going to use laravel http so http okay and colon colon i will just path pass with headers because uh, it's already defined the header in the curl request so you can see that content type content type and that should be a application json save it yeah that's perfect and then i'm going to just say post request and i need to pass this url so copy this and paste it over here here i'm going to just use i will take the env and what was the key name so that was the gemini api key so that will take from the env that what we already set up okay and then as the second argument we need to pass the post okay so let me go here and that should be a content then you can see that it's a json so what i need to do i need to pass the parts inside the parts okay i need to add the text and here you can see that we need to pass the prompt okay so what i will do this dollar prompt okay save it and let me put the semicolon okay and yeah that's perfect and here i'm going to just say dollar response i will store inside the response uh, variable and then let's test it response json save it okay now what i will do just go here and i will refresh it what is the capital of india okay and just click on submit yeah i got the response inside the candidates go to zero and inside the content let me go here part and zero and then you can see the tax capital of india is new delhi so you can see that we are getting we are able to get the response so let me go here and what i will do over here is so i will just say if response is successful then it's come inside and then i will just say text equal to i will getting the text from the json so let me go here first of all i will get the candidate key then i will just say zero then i will get content then i will get parts and then again the zero key and then will that will be a final text is the result okay save it if nothing else then i will just say text say something is wrong okay 
save it and let's the test it okay so let me go and text save it okay now let me go here and just copy this equation refresh it click on it you can see that we are able to receive the answer the capital of india is new delhi okay now what i will do i will display that answer and questions over here so what i can do for it i will create a new variable that's called history and i will keep this array empty okay and then here i'm going to just say history value and first that will be your question by user and the question is prompt okay prompt okay i will store inside that and then i will receive the answer so what i will do over here i will define the new question answer okay answer i will get from the text variable okay so save it okay and then i will just say this history i will add new key and that will be a history value okay that is the variable okay save paste it save it and let me remove this okay save it okay now what i need to do chat here i'm going to add new div then i will just add ul and i will use for it attribute and that's called history and inside the li i am just adding some padding over here p and i will define p3 okay then i will just add div i will add the class and i will make it text blue 700 and font will be semi bold okay and then first of all user will ask the question so i will get auth user name okay and then what is the asking for is the user so i will just display this the question so i will say text gray and just 700 that i will take from the item question so that means q okay and copy this and then just say google ai save it okay and then this is the answer so save it now what i will do just refresh it and what is the capital of india okay and just click on submit you can see that what is the capital of india and the capital of india is new delhi so i will same thing again answer for the us and just you can see over here like capital of uh, is united uh, still this design is not much better so what i will do just class and t5 okay and refresh it okay and here let me say what is the capital of india okay and click on submit you can see that over here that's why its color is not yeah, maybe but it's fine but you can make it whatever design you want you can see that simple how we can call the google ai over here now what i will do this is very simple flow and you can do this using like this way but if you create the service for Gemini ai then you can do it okay like how easily you can do so let me create the service class so let me go here and i will say php artisan mac class and i will just say services and then you can see that over here is i will just say jiminy api okay so jiminy api and hit enter you can see that it's created a new services over here and that's called jiminy's api i am not going to use the constructor so call api something like that okay and then i will just copy this entire thing okay paste it over here and also i'm going to use this uh, class okay save it okay and then this prompt i'm going to pass as an argument dollar prompt okay and public static method so i don't have to create the object for it and then at the end i'm going to just return dollar text okay save 
and then just me remove this prompt okay save it now let me go here and remove this and also i'm going to remove this okay so i will just say text okay and what i will do i will call gmini api and call api and all of these prompt save it okay and now you can see that now let me go here and just refresh it let me run it again the project php artisan cell yeah and now let me go here and what is the capital of india you can see that now i got the answer same thing if i say just what is the capital of us and hit enter you can see over here is the united like washington dc so you understand how much more better flow how you can integrate with the services if you like this video then share with your friends subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys